Laker fans, we are in danger right now. Huge news to me, at least. The Lakers have supposedly been looking at different head coaches. One, David Fisdale. Two, replace Luke Walton. So the fire Luke Walton movement has officially became, it started as an underground movement and it has now became the mainstream view. Huge news for me, huge red flag for me. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get into it, let's get it. We have reached the point where news outlets are starting to begin to report that the Lakers are looking at different coaches. How did we reach this point? We're gonna break it down real quick. So firstly, it started at the beginning of the season. Luke Walton had very, very strange lineups. He didn't really seem like he knew what lineup he wanted to use. Some of his lineups were very strange, like having Corey Brewer, Randall, uh, just all these defensive players in at once or all offensive and it seemed like he didn't have a good mix and that's when the fire Luke Walton movement began. Fans started thinking is this really the head coach we want and it became a very you know kind of like an underground type of movement not many people were onto it but you know the diehard Laker fans a lot of them were, were thinking about if Luke Walton is genuinely a good coach for us. So that's where it all began. And then we hear about, after you know, after Alonzo gets injured, we hear about this all apparent tell all in the locker room, right? Everyone had like a heart to heart. They all talked about it. And after that, we go on a six game losing streak and we just look like a horrible team. It seems like Clarkson's not into it because he heard about the rumors. It seems like Randall's not that into it because he heard about the rumors. It just didn't look pretty, right? Yeah, a lot of that had to do with Lonzo not playing, but you could tell the chemistry, was, something was up, something was weird, right? So that happened. And then a few weeks later, you hear about LeVar. LeVar comes out and just says, yeah, man. Yeah, bro, Luke, Luke lost the locker room. No one wants to play for this guy. And then the news outlets completely ate that story up. Every single article, Bleacher Report, ESPN, Yahoo, just, they're taking LeVar Ball's word for gospel, man. It's ridiculous. They're saying, yo, Luke Walton lost the locker room, blah, blah, blah. I mean, LeVar saying it, blah, 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 which is fine. I mean, I've honestly, personally, I know a lot of people get bugged by LeVar, but he's never, everything he said so far has never bugged me until he said this. This directly correlated to his son's and team's performance. Like just him bringing up this story for no reason rather than bringing it up to management personally, honestly just took this tiny little ember of an issue and just made it into flames. Cause right now is ridiculous. It seems like we have no direction of where we wanna go front office wise. So LeVar bring up the story still personally, I was just like, it's cool. Like, I mean like, you know, once the players once the players get asked about it, like it's gonna be fine. Everyone's gonna be looking at Zoe's response, right? <laughs> and then Lonzo comes out. They ask Lonzo, "Yo, so how do you feel about playing under Luke?" He says, "Yeah, I'll play under anybody." Lonzo, what the? F what was that, bro? And then they ask him again. They give him another chance, Lonzo. But how do you feel about playing under Luke under his rotations? I can play for anybody. I'm an anybody coach. Once I heard that, I was so frustrated. Lonzo, how hard, how hard was it to just say, yeah, he's fine, like he's a decent coach. I like playing under him. You didn't have to say anything exceptional. You didn't have to be like, I love him, everyone loves him. You could have been like, yeah, he's a good coach or, you know, I don't mind playing under him. Nothing. That brought up two major issues for me. Or like one, like it could be one of the two issues. One, he genuinely doesn't like playing under Luke Walton. Just or two, like he just sides with his dad more. One of those two issues, either issue is not a good thing to have because either he's siding with dad too much and he's not telling like LeVar, like, bro, you just need to shut up. I need to ball out, enjoy your roles that I bought you and just like sit down for a little bit because now you're getting too much into the team, right? You said you weren't gonna do that. He hasn't had been able to said that. Or if he's not happy under Luke Walton, that either means Luke Walton is really not a good coach or Lonzo is really not the team player that we need. A leader, especially in his rookie season, would not do that. And I'm not hating on Lonzo, I'm just saying, this is how it looks to the media right now. And that's the biggest issue we have. And now, now we just literally 30 minutes ago, we see an article online 
that we're looking to hire David Fisdale. And that just absolutely, for me, that, that, that screams disaster. We, up till I would say December, have made it so apparent, like the front office has made it so apparent that they are behind Luke Walton 100%, right? Magic, Polinka, all of them, all of them made it sound like that so much. And now all of a sudden, and if you read this article, I know it's Brian Winhurst, and I mean, he still works for ESPN, so he has credibility. And he's literally talking about all these executives who genuinely think the Lakers are already on another search for a head coach. And I understand that Magic and Polinka might want a different direction and David Fisdale is good for LeBron and all of that. But that many coaches gone in the amount of years we've had just shows that we're still technically not even close to end ending our rebuilding. And that is what for a franchise that really worries me because when you see when these superstars see things like this like paul george and that they're like man this team is not as close as i thought they were to the brink and that's honestly that's very very concerning for me i personally think i think luke is gonna be a great coach he's very young usually usually coaches do not like do well off the bat yeah brad stevens was one of them but he still got lucky with the core he had and Luke got kind of put in a tough predicament and I still feel like we should give him some time. He has shown potential. He does show that he does adjust, right? You don't want a coach who's strict. He does show that he does change things up according to the league. He's very young, up to date with, you know, how the league's going and all of that. He has great experience with the Warriors and I honestly think we should stick with him. I like Fizz. Fizz is dope. Fizz is amazing, but I honestly don't think he's the answer for this team. Yeah, I mean, he might, he might be attractive to LeBron and stuff like that because they're homies or whatever. But I don't know, man. I think if we sack Luke Walton, especially mid-season, it really shows that we don't have a sense of direction. And that is very, very concerning for me. So we'll keep an eye out on it. Let me know what y'all think. Do you think we should fire Luke Walton? Should we keep Luke Walton? And if we do fire him, what coaches do you think we should hire? Fizdale has been linked to the Lakers' number one option so far. But we'll see whoever pops up and let me know. Let me know what y'all think, honestly, though, because this is mind-blowing to me. I just wanted to bring it up, talk about it, talk about how Luke is doing. And yeah, other than that, man, it's your boy, Lake Boy Waldo. Peace.